St. Mark's the Evangelist Church first opened its doors in 1907 and was one of the few places in New York City that served as a place of worship for African American Catholics. Today, this community serves many. Father Freddie Washington has been pastor here for the last two and a half years. To this church um, was actually the assignment of my provincial um, to come here, but this church is a historical church here in Harlem. It's the mother church of black Catholics. It's the church where people um, as uh, African Americans moved from the south and people immigrated from the Caribbean, they found a place. And so this became the, the welcome center, if you would, of black Catholics um, in the Harlem neighborhood. The church in the center of Harlem has evolved as the many neighborhoods have changed as well. St. Mark's uh, originally, uh, when it was built in 1907, the parish was German and Irish. Then uh, in 1912, when the uh, African Americans started to move from the 60s, which we call the San Juan Hill, in that area, when they started moving up, then they said, well, we have to make a colored parish. And this was the first colored parish in Harlem. Among all the members, they are able to support several events and services, including a weekly food pantry. Well, the pantry has been, a, has been in existence for more than 20 years. And I took over the pantry three years ago from a couple that had been here for quite a number of years. I try to arrange the food in a way that if there's anything I see that's free in the food that the food bank is offering, then I try to you know get free food. If not, our food is paid through either by the federal government, the city, the state, or the city council. Other activities at St. Mark's include English as a second language class, a golden oldies dance, and a monthly cleaning party at the church. Uh, we are helping here to clean our church, just to make sure that everything is, is uh, neat for those who come and worship. Harlem is a very, very unique place. It's a place where, of culture, and, 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 and for a lot of us, it's a renaissance. It's a, it's a place of renewal and refreshment. Um, you have all these historical figures who have walked through the streets of Harlem, and, and you know that you're walking on grounds where people you just read about have been. And, and then the church is there. And so what we do, I think, impacts the history of everyone who passes through Harlem. Harlem hasn't been known as one of the safest sections in New York City. However, today this community is vibrant, growing, and alive. On the corner of 136 and Lenox, I'm Tess Lenhart, Duke TV News 14.